Hey, this is Sam from Other Side Gaming, and welcome to Quickie. Today we're talking about Killer Instinct, one of the most badass fighting games ever. Pretty much you take the fighting from Street Fighter, and the fatalities from Mortal Kombat, and bam, this is what you get. One of the most badass fighting games, period. Hitting the arcades in 1994 and soon getting a Super Nintendo port, this game had it all. It had awesome characters like lichens and boobs, I mean, chicks, and velociraptors, and tons of stages. And instead of being based on a hit, this game was all about combos. And if you could break an ultra combo, pff, oh man, I, you have the utmost respect for me. It's insane. It's, it's ridiculous. Not only that, but it had an awesome announcer guy to boot. But this game's badassery doesn't stop there. It only ends with the music. It had its own soundtrack called Killer Cuts, which according to ScrewTech.com is constantly playing at their HQ. Oh, and Craig and Chad, congratulations on your babies. Good job, guys. You want to know what else made this game so badass? Instead of being a gray cart, it was black. It, no, no, I'm not being racist. It was it was really black. This game actually got a sequel called Killer Instinct 2, <laughs> originally, but it also got a port on the Nintendo 64 called Killer Instinct Gold. Oh yeah. If you see it, I would highly suggest picking it up. Well guys, that's all I have time for. I'll see you guys on the next quickie.